Hello guys, good afternoon. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the SPC Tutorials, and my name is Dr. Joseph. This morning I shall be taking us fertilization and organogenesis in AB122. Please, as you're watching this video, endeavor to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Now, what is the meaning of what fertilization? It is a union between the male sex cell called the sperm and the female sex cell called the egg or the ovum to produce a diploid uh, molecule called what? Zygote. And when zygote splits, it forms smaller entities. The splitting of this zygote is called what? Cleavage. It's called cleavage, alright? When the zygote undergoes cleavage, alright, it forms what is called what? Blastoma. Blastomas are formed when the zygote, when the zygote undergoes what? Cleavage. Now, the types of cleavage are determined by two criteria. One, the quantity, the quantity of what you present in the egg, and two, symmetrical cleavage. All right. So these are the two criteria with which the types of the various types of what cleavage can be what determined. Quantity of egg present in the yolk and what symmetrical what, pattern of such what yolk. Now, the egg has the upper part called the upper part is called animal pole. Animal pole. All right. The lower part is called what vegetal pole. Vegetal pole. All right. So please take note of that. The animal pole has. The animal pole, which is this very one, it has a nucleus. It is the non. Please take note of this. The, the non yolky part of the egg with nucleus. With nucleus and active cytoplasm. Alright, please take note of that. The animal pole is the non yolky part. With nucleus and what active or cytoplasm, but the vegetal pole is the one with inert yolk. The yolk is what the small inert and what yolky, all right? Which means that you have a lot of yolk presence in the vegetal pole, but the animal pole has no what yolk in it. It has what nucleus and what active or cytoplasm. So please take note of that. Now, I said there are two criteria with which the various cleavages are what classified. One, quantity of yolk. Now, a yolk that are, an egg that has no yolk in it, it is called what? Animal pool. While the part of the egg that has a lot of yolk in it is called what? Vegetal pool. So please take note of that. It is very, very important. Now, when, the, when there's lithium, when there's lithium or no yolk in the egg, such yolk is what symmetrical, all right. So, such egg must have undergone what symmetrical what cleavage, and it results to equal and holoblastic egg. Please, when there is little or no yolk present in the egg, it results what is called what symmetrical cleavage, and this symmetrical cleavage results to equal and holoblastic egg. The word holoblastic means. The furrow have the ability of what penetrates the egg, all right? The furrow have the ability to ex ex extend through the egg. That is what equal and what will plastic. That is an egg that is symmetrical is equal and what will plastic. But the part of the the egg that has a lot of yolk in it. I said that the one that has little or no yolk in it is what? Symmetrical. But the one that has a lot of yolk, a lot of yolk in it is what? Marrow. It's what? Meroblastic. It's meroblastic. The word meroblastic means furrow. Furrow does not, it does not penetrate the egg because you have a lot of yolk present in the egg. So please take note of that. Now we have different types of cleavages. 
we have different types of cleavages now based on uh, inherent yolk based on the quantity of yolk present in it we have one we have iso we have isolecithal we have isolecithal or oligo oligo lecithal what egg all right so please take notes listen as i explain this isolecithal or oligo egg is a type of egg that has that has little or no yolk in it and they are distributed evenly examples of organisms that possess as this type of egg are are the ampiosus the sponges mammals mammals this let me get it up you have mammals have uh, C stars. Please take note. All isolecithal or oligolecithal eggs are equal and what? Holoblastic. Take note of that. And also take note of the various organisms that are found under the various types of what? Egg. Isolecithal egg, you have aphyosus, sponges, mammals, and what? C stars. Then number two, we have Telo. Telolecita egg. Telolecita egg has a lot of yolk in it. It has a lot of yolk in it. And they are what? Essentially, essentially concentrated, alright? They are essentially what? Concentrated, alright? Please, they have a lot of yolk in it. They are essentially what con uh, concentrated. The yolk are unequal. The yolk are unequal, but holoblastic. All right. The yolk are unequal in size, but they are what holoblastic. Examples of organisms under this telecyta, telecyta, telecyta egg are we have mollusk. We have mollusk. We have annelids, we have annelids, and we have some amphibians. Some are amphibians, such as frogs, all right? They have what? Pelulecita egg. Number three, we have the discoidea egg. The discoidea egg has enormous yolk in it it has enormous a lot of yolk in it such that it results to the formation of, formation of a microscopic spot called what the blasto disc blasto disc all right i said that the discoida egg has enormous yolk in it lead to the formation of what a microscopic spot called what black blasto disc which means that blasto disc is associated with what discoida egg Examples of organisms that possess the squid egg are we have squids, squids, reptiles, birds, and fishes. Good. All right. So please, the squid egg is blastodis in form. And examples of organisms under the squid egg are squids, reptiles, birds, and what fishes. Take note of these organisms. Then number, number four, I told you we have four types of egg. Number four, we have we have the central central what egg. This central egg has a lot of yolk. They have that is the quantity of yolk in it, they are large. But they are found at the center of the egg. They are found at the center of the egg. So please take note of that. Look at the egg found in Telecita are large in form. They are, they are, the quantity is large. Same thing is the Centralecita. The difference is that in Centralecita, the, the yolks are found at the middle, but the yolks are essentially what? Concentrated. 
Examples of organisms that possess centrolecithal egg are the arthropods. Are the arthropods, all right? And examples of arthropods are what? Insects, all right? You know the ph phylum arthropoda has other sub other subclasses or classes like the insecta, the crustacea, the miracoda, and the what? Arachnida, all right? But let us just stop here. Examples of arthropods having centrinesita egg is the insect. So please take note of that. Now, in, in this type of egg, okay, now, amphiosus, amphiosus, take note of this, amphiosus, take note of this, it is very important. All right, the eggs are rich in a vertical to what, horizontal what, manner. So, that is for that. Is there any point so far? Is there any point? Is there any? Okay, fine. Now, these various types are, these four types of uh, eggs are based on what? Quantity of yolk. Quantity of yolk. And the other criterion is the symmetrical pattern. Symmetrical what? Pattern. Alright? Now, we have one. We have the we have the radial cleavage. We have three types of cleavages: the radial cleavage, two, the spiral cleavage, and three, we have the bilateral the bilateral what cleavage. 